Welcome back to Power Wash Simulator, everybody. We're gonna jump into uh, not free play bonus jobs. Head back into Monkey and Files Part Three and jump into the aquarium. This one's meant to be like a huge job, so we'll see how long it takes us. I'll let you know on the timestamps as usual. Uh, the last one took me about an hour just to do the submarine. How are you doing, wishy washers? I don't know what you saw on the way over here, but the entire Crab Bay area has been hit by a freak wave, and that obviously includes a marine life conservation center. Luckily, we were pre warned by our friends at Caldera University's seismology department that something was happening, so we managed to get an evacuation program going for all the open air tanks in the aquarium. You'll be pleased to know that none of the animals were harmed. In fact, we're up to whelks and a starfish. Nevertheless, our small friend made quite an impression, and to be on the safe side, we need to an sanitize the place before we can reintroduce the animals and open up again. Thank you, Dr. P. Pizzosia. I don't know if that's a plan of words. We got a purple cleaner? I don't know what cleaner that is available to us. But I don't generally use the cleaners. That's fine. Go ahead and set that up. I think my headphones just died. Yeah, my headphones just died. <laughs> so strange, seeing the center like this is normally so full of life. In fact, you're one of the only people to see it like this in decades. Uh, let's do a quick walkthrough. Got this entrance room, long walking area. Over that time, it's had an incredibly checkered past. Ooh, we have a ladder in here. Oh man, this might be broken up into two parts. Can I open the door? No. Might be able to go up the ladder though. We'll check that out later. Go ahead and get started right over here at the beginning. All the way back. At the start. And going on the doors. Ooh, the windows are separate. That's nice. Already off to a great start. Oh, got all the doors. Looks like we got a light up here. Or the sensor for the door. Um, uh, backside? Yep. I assume if the... Oh, each of the letters is separate. Beautiful. But uh, I, assu I assume if the center's open, the doors will open automatically if you walk towards it now that the sensor's cleaned, but... Since they are indeed closed, we do not get the pleasure. Alright, we got the, fir the first room's floor and most of the walls. Just gotta do the ceiling. And this wonderful, wonderful sign. We have a stool in the next room. I don't think it's gonna do us quite the height we need for this sign. We could probably jump it. Oh! And rock wall cleaned. How about the sign, though? Give me the sign! There we go. Now I just gotta do the ceiling. Cool. There goes the ceiling. We got tide pools here. Is that what's happening? Oh, sandboxes. Like sand displays. Or maybe these used to have water in them. They probably used to have water in them. But I sure hope these sea creatures are not real. Shallows sea round. Shallows round coral. So each of these sections is separate somehow. Not really a clear line. But it looks like, yeah, that's separate from this. Okay, I appreciate that. Cool, got all the coral, got all the floor pieces. Uh, I guess I didn't get this one, but this one's not on the floor technically, so we'll get it. And uh, also the starfish. Let's start working on the wall while we're back here. Yeah. I don't know, I thought I had more to say and I didn't. <laughs> Ooh, nice little display with information on it. I like that, I like that. Got leopard shark, crab based stingrays, volcano crabs. I like it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I assume these are just for display. These are plastic or whatever. And then they rescued these guys. I like it. Sea urchins, sea snails, sea morrows, or sea cucumbers. Oh, okay, so that's what they look like. The ones that um we were cleaning off of the the, the goo that we were cleaning off of the submarine in the next the next job. We're already learning so much and we're only in the first room in the aquarium. Ooh, this is nice. You can stand on the ledge to be able to get this part. So far, this level is very well done. I do appreciate the size of it um, and the how it's built. I saw a lot, of, a lot of people in the reviews. It was like mixed reviews on this pack because there's only two jobs, even though this one's huge. Like some of the other paid DLC also have bigger maps, but they're paid and have like the properties and stuff. I think a lot of people were just hoping for a free DLC that had a number of jobs instead of just like one big job and then a smaller vehicle job. But I'm satisfied. I'm all here for free content, no matter how big or how small. Okay, so I got most of this wall. There's just like little bits of dirt places, so I'm gonna use a stronger stream. There we go. I got the top of it already. I think I got most of the top of this one too. I just gotta get in the nooks and crannies and I should get this background piece as well. Oh, no, there's still dirt up here. Oops. Cool, so that should be all of that. Um, there's just this big old rock back here too now. And that should be most of the pool stuff, if not all of it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move this stool out of the way. Go ahead and live there. I don't need you. 
And there goes the floor. Uh, now to work on this. This is like another tide pool mini, I guess. In case the big one's full up. No infographic here, so I don't know what was in here. Oh, this is just some more urchins and sea sea urchins, maybe. Urchins and sea urchins, yes. <laughs> urchins and sea cucumbers is what I meant to say. I don't know if you can fit a shark in this tank. Oh, there's an infographic behind it. Or just the aquarium map. Oh no, they have different crab names. Different names for the crabs. That's what I meant. Crab names. Here are crabs. We've got social crustaceans, shell changers, and omnivoric scavengers. Those are the different types of crabs we have. And then we've got their residents. Um, Jessica Crabbit, Krabby McCrab Face, and Silent Ted. I'm here for it. Okay, this wall was a little confusing at first because I didn't realize that it came out across from here to this wall. And then this is whole piece. This is one whole piece. But this is part of this wall, and this is part of that wall, and then this is separate from this. Gotcha. Um, I'm just trying to find the last bit of dirt on this arch, probably, and that'll complete the wall. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know why I always do the ceiling last. <laughs> but it looks like we've got a really cool ceiling light here. It's a seahorse. And I really like it. I mean, imagine IRL, the glass would be really expensive to make if you had a real like ceiling light like that. But it would be really cool to have in like a house to have a shaped ceiling light like this inlaid. Although you could probably just do like custom glass with LEDs, like fake neon, right? Yeah, it's probably cheaper than I think it is. There's ways to do it. Just nobody wants to cut a hole in their ceiling. Just nobody wants to cut a custom hole in their ceiling. All right, well, we got the ceiling and light. So we're going to move on to the next room. I'm pretty sure that's it. I don't know how to check this. Is there more than one shallows? Oh my god, there's so much here. No, I think we got it all. Cool, time to move on. This is a really long hallway. Big area, I wonder... How do I want to separate this so I don't feel overwhelmed? You know what I mean? I guess we can just go to the curve. But there's no real, like, cut off. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. The Crab Bay Marine Life Conservation Center was opened in 1904 by local benefactor Phil Anfrop. Oh, Phil Anfrop. I got it. Phil Anfrop. Legend has it that it was inspired by his tearful daughter who found a five-legged crab on the beach and demanded something to be done. Whatever the reason, Phil's money kept the place going for the first 20 years or so. That's pretty long. But these ceiling lights don't inlay themselves, you know? Gonna need the money. You know what? Let's do something crazy. Let's start with the ceiling. I know I did this wall already, but we'll abandon it for a minute. Maybe more than a few minutes. <laughs> uh, time check, by the way. I've been here for about 35, 40 minutes. So if you're cleaning at or around the same pace as I am, that will that will be your time. I don't got most of the ceiling, but it looks like there's still some patches places. Also, I started on this, and this seems to be a rock wall, but it's a ceiling, so this is all going to be one piece. This bit, right here. Well, that's good to know. Uh, but we're going to do a quick walk through, kind of like on the edges and stuff. See if we can get, get the... There we go. There goes the ceiling. Cool! Start back at the beginning. Continue on our wall. Probably get this wall side done first, and then we'll start on the other side. And then we'll do the floor. Ooh, that's separate. So then this... I see the line here. This must be separate from this. But I think the rest of this piece is one. Okay, okay, good to know. A little bit of a checkpoint in the middle there. So I've been cleaning these tanks and something I didn't realize is that there's fish still in them. We got clownfish, we got whatever that fish is, and then we got a seahorse. Um, I guess they did say that they evacuated all the open tanks. So I guess the closed tanks were safe. We'll get this window open for them so that they can see each other. I can't imagine this is good for them either because all the signs that say don't tap on the glass, but we're power washing the, the whole glass. <laughs> Probably not good for their ears. Brains rattling inside their skulls. All right, just gotta just finish this glass here, the frame. I think I got everything else. So it's just the floor now. There goes the floor. Awesome. All right, I got the floor. We just gotta work on the tunnel here. This and the letters. Yep, the letters. I think I got them all. Now it's just the tunnel. I don't know. There's some dirt on the ceiling here, but I don't know how much it's going to contribute to the, the progress on it. There we go. How fun. The ocean. This way. Oh, do we get the big old tank? Yes. Go ahead and open this up first. I might need to put the extender on for the top. Might need the extra extender too. Oh yeah. So it turns out this glass is very dirty, so I'm just going to get the frame around it. And then uh, get the basic grime off, kind of like that. See how you can kind of see through it now? Um, and then use a glass cleaner on it. Although, wait, can we get inside there? No way. 
Oh, that's awesome. Okay, okay. Um, so that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult to see when we're done on this side. But that is very exciting for us, actually, to find out that there's that room in there. There's the ladder in this room, and I... Is this how you get up there? Oh, this is a whole other hallway. Oh, you come in from the top. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna, there's gonna be, have to be a part two for this. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Okay, so how do I know if the glass is done or not? Because this is... A little misleading. <laughs> uh, I guess we just keep spraying it and wait, hope for the best. At least we can see kind of the frame, but also not really. There we go, got the frame at least. I don't know how we're gonna get the window. There we go, got the window. That's gonna be so satisfying coming in from the other side too. Seeing it finally be cleaned after looking at it from this side this whole time. Okay, this wall is connected to this wall, but this wall ends where the white starts, it looks like. Okay. Ooh, gift shop? Gift shop. There we go, we got the blue part of the wall done. Sustainable fishing practices. Ooh, let's find out. What tips do they have for us? Uh, what exactly does sustainable fishing practice mean? Does it mean that we sustain the fish by throwing worms and fish food directly into the ocean? Or does it mean that we train our fishermen and women to be fitter in order to sustain their fishing shifts for longer periods? Could it even mean that when our fishermen go fishing, they they're only practicing with rods that have nothing attached to them? Actually, it doesn't mean any of those things. Sustainable fishing practice means that we practice our fishing in a sustainable way. Very informative. What is this? Is this one of those things you stick your faces in? It is. We got a uh, submarine diver? Scuba diver? Some sort of diver. And an octopus. This will be fun for a co-op level. Alright, what does this one say? Did you know that Crab Bay Marine and Life Conserve Conservation Center is actively involved in marine biology research? Well, thanks to you, it is. In fact, all the plants and animals which you see today have been housed here as a part of the vital conservation projects run jointly with Caldera University. Here's how it works. 1. University Superstar Submarine How Rowdy Sea Life goes into serious exploration mode to monitor our local habitats. Well, that's a submarine that we cleaned um, in the other job. If Rowdy supplies that something's up, our expert retrieval teams go into overdrive. Using state-of-the-art core sampling tubes and animal capture nest nets, they collect vulnerable marine life for us to house and protect here, perfectly recreating their natural habitat within the confines of the aquarium. That's nice. A very noble quest indeed. Unfortunately, Phil went bust in 1927 and custodianship of the Marine Life Center was transferred to a local entrepreneur, Wilberforce Thrust. It appears from looking through historical financial transactions that Thrust's primary interest was making a quick buck from selling the center's prized exhibits. Ooh, no thank you. Public interest disappeared along with the turtles, and the center quickly went into decline. He stole the turtles? How rude. Save the turtles, not steal the turtles. Alright, this white piece is almost done. There it goes. Aha! This is the other pillar in blue rock wall. Ooh, we get to go in the restricted access area. To be able to get into the tank, I guess. Alright, I'll save I'll save that for the, the next one. <gasps> they have a shark light. I need a hammerhead shark light. I don't care what it costs, I need one probably a little outside of my budget. For now, I'll just stick to those glow stickers that you can put on your ceiling or put on your walls. I used to have uh, dog ones, like little plastic glow-in-the-dark ones. Those were nice. Maybe I'll find some shark ones to put on my wall now. Just in the meantime, until I can get my full-on shark ceiling light going. No way, we get two ceiling sharks? Sign me up. We get two ceiling sharks, a ceiling whale, ceiling ray, ceiling stingray. Oh, it's even got little... the rib cage Or the... I guess it's gills? Is what those are? They look like rib cage, but they're... they're really how it breathes. And then the shark has a mouth. The whale has little lines on it. This one also has a mouth. What about the turtle? Ceiling turtle, what have you got? You've got a shell! That's so cute. There we go, we got the ceiling. Just gonna finish out ceiling turtle and the floor. Uh, time check. I've been here for about an hour twenty. One more piece of the floor. I'm gonna have to move the ladder in a second here. Excuse me. Stick it right here. Go ahead and finish out this little patch. And that should be it for the floor. And uh, we'll go ahead and end here. Save the next half for the next video. There we go. Uh, this is a really nice room. I like I like the ceiling lights. This is a really nice touch. Um, but so far, this is like a whole exhibit. I'm here for it. Little rainbow kelp in here. I like it. I'm having a blast. So I 100% recommend this DLC. Obviously, of course, it's free as well. So that definitely adds to the value yeah i mean like if you have the base game and you're a big fan of like the bigger spaces and just want to go to town on some big rooms with 
you know, appropriately sized sections just to give you some checkpoints. This is a really good level for you. And uh, I can't wait to get into there. That looks exciting. Anyways, and with that, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to toss a like down below, subscribe so you don't miss the next and final installment of this DLC. And I'll see you in the next one.